In many plastic applications, we have to measure temperatures of very thin plastic material. So we have to be careful to select the right wavelengths of our sensors. Let's have a look to our infrared camera, which has a wavelength of 8 to 14 micron. It depends on your material that you can measure on the foil material or that you measure through the foil material. So in one case, the material can be transmissive. In the other case, the material can't be transmissive. It depends on the thickness of the material. If your plastic material has more thickness than 215 micron, you can use a long spectra wavelength camera like the PI camera, which has wavelengths of 8 to 14 micron. If your material have a thickness lower than 215 micron, you have to use a special wavelength. Let's have a look to a, an experiment. I have here a balloon without air, and you can see that the thickness is more than 215 micron without air. If I position the balloon in front of my black body, with, which has 80 degrees C, you can see that the balloon has a temperature of 28 degrees C, so the balloon is not transmissive in this case. Now I will push air into the balloon. And we will see what happened. So you can see that the balloon is transmissive with a wavelength of 8 to 14 micron. You can also see that the transmissivity is now lower than before without the balloon. So we can correct, we can decrease the transmissivity value with our software PIX Connect and go down that we have the, the same temperature. If I now push out the air of the balloon, you can see that, that the transmissivity will be lower because the thickness of the balloon is increasing right now. So you can see the transmissive, transmissivity will be lower and lower. And in the end, the balloon is thick enough that we can measure now the right temperature of the balloon of 26 degrees C. So we have to be careful regarding the thickness of the material. We have also to be careful regarding the material which we want to use. Let's have a look to this table here. This table shows you some materials and you can see that we have two types of plastic materials, foil materials. The first type has a carbon hydrogen band, and here we can use the wavelengths of 3.43 micron. The second type of materials can have a carbon fluoroester band, and here we have to use the wavelengths of 7.95 micron. So you can see with the first type, with 3.43 micron, we can measure, for example, PE or PP materials. With a CF ester band, with a wavelength of 7.95 micrometer, we can measure materials like FEP or also PET. So we have to be careful regarding the materials. Let's have a look to our PixConnect software and let's have a look to our other types of sensors. You can see we have here a type of sensor. This is a P3 sensor, which has a wavelength of 3.43 microns. And we have here the CT Laser P7 sensor, which has a wavelength of 7.9 microns. So I can also show the temperature of these sensors on our screen. So this is the temperature of the P7 sensor. And here we have the temperature on the left side of the P3 sensor. All sensors are looking to the black body and they have all the same temperatures around 80 degrees C. I have here now a plastic foil material which is very thin, so the thickness of the material is lower than 215 micron and my material is FEP. 
And I start with my A240 micron camera and I push the material in front of the camera. And you can see that the material is transmissive. So the transmissivity is lower with the material than without. So I have to correct the transmissivity value as the software picks connect at the configuration menu. Now let's have a look to our P3 sensor, which has a wavelength of 3.43 microns. And you can see on the left side on the screen at the bottom that I get exactly also the same temperature. So the FEP material is, transmiss is transmissive for a wavelength of 3.43 microns. Now let's have a look to our P7 sensor, which has a wavelength of 7.9 micron. And you can see FEP material is not transmissive in a wavelength, four wavelengths of 7.9 microns. You can see the temperature here decreases to 28 degrees C. That's exactly the temperature of my plastic foil. So without, I have 80 degree. I'm looking for the black body. And if I put the foil material in front of the sensor, I have 28 degrees C. So you see, you have to be careful regarding the thickness of the material. So more than 215 micron, you can use A240 micron as wavelengths. Lower than 250 micron, you have to select another wavelength. The wavelength depends on the material which you want to measure.